Hello, my pretties. Um, it's the Queen of Lions here. And today I want to make this um, episode, well, not really an episode or anything, but kind of like another discussion video. I'm going to definitely um, say that, um, that I've been kind of wanting to talk about this for a while. And today I am going to be talking about this uh, American sitcom show called South Park. Now, South Park, most of you guys know what South Park is, but for those who don't know, I'm just going to give you, like, a little bit of background information of, you know, um, what South Park really is, in case if you guys are all, you know, wondering about what South Park is. Most of you should know that, you know, what South Park really is, but in case if you don't really know what South Park is, well, I'm going to give, you know, basically a little bit of, you know, Kind of background information of what South Park is. Now, South Park mainly focuses on four boys like Stan Marsh, uh, Kyle Borowski. Borous I can't really pronounce his last name, but, you know, if you guys want to tell me who I how I pronounce Kyle's last name in the comment section, feel free to do so. Uh, Eric Cartman and Kenny McCormick, who are the boys who live in a fictional small town of South Park in the South Park Basin called... Uh, in somewhere in central Colorado in the Rocky Mountains. So the town also is an assortment of frequent characters such as some students, families, elementary school staff, various residents and all that who agree to agree that South Park is a bland, quiet place to live. Now, South Park is basically a show that was produced by, well, none other than, well, Terry Parker and Matt Stone, they're the creators of the show. Now, I mean, yes, I would have to sit here and say this right now that South Park, you probably remember seeing, you know, a bunch of clips of it from, you know, YouTube or if you watch TV sometime, maybe in the late early, late 90s, early uh, 2000s, you probably might have seen at least a couple episodes of South Park. And I mean, I've watched a couple episodes of it at that point. And I mean, South Park has done, like, a really, really good amount of, you know, comedy, too. Like, I mean, yes, I'm gonna say right now that it's, well, it's mainly for adults. Like, the, the, I, could, I could definitely say this right now, that this show is definitely not for kids. Like, this show is definitely not for kids in any way, shape, or form. So it's why you don't really, you know, see kids watching it, obviously. Because it's not for kids. I mean, South Park, yes, has, you know, done a lot of, um, messed up, um, you know, messed up episodes here and there. I mean, I've watched a couple episodes of South Park, and the way they portray Fanes is very NSFW. Like, not safe for work, to be exact, in case if you guys are all wondering. I mean, I've watched a couple episodes of South Park, and the way they do Fanes, they really have to say that, um... The, South, the way South Park has done it is pretty, you know, messed up at times. I mean, South Park has done, you know, really messed up um, stuff in South Park. Like, I mean, to be honest, I mean, it's kind of, it's basically like Family Guy, American Dad, and etc. Because American Dad and Family Guy have, um, you know, done, you know, shows that are similar to that. So you know, the this. So, obviously, that's one thing to state that now. I mean, yes, I've watched, um, um, yeah, I've watched South Park, a couple episodes of it, actually, and, you know, some of the episodes, I have to say, were cringy. Like, I mean, I've watched a couple of episodes that were cringy. I've seen a couple episodes that were, you know, messed up, but I also have to say I've seen some some stories of South Park on fanfiction.net. I mean, some of them, yes, are good. Others are pretty cringy, depending on what they are. I mean, it's just my opinion on me expressing um, South Park. Like, I understand if you like this show, because I know a lot of people do remember this show. Like, how I came across South Park was sometime when I was, um, sometime in high school. Like, when I was probably maybe 14, I started watching a little bit of South Park, because of the humor it does have. Like, it has, um, uh, well, not safe for work, uh, content in most episodes. Like, I've seen most of these episodes where they involve, you know, doing some adult stuff like, well, sexual content. I mean, 
you know, like, South Park has done, you know, that kind of humor. Like, if there's sex humor in, like, South Park, I don't personally have a problem with that. Like, I don't mind that humor either. There's also, um, other South Park, um, related, um, humor they use. Like, they used, um, grosso humor, which I've seen grosso humor being used in, well, uh, South Park, and I don't personally have a problem with grosso humor. I simply never did in, at this point, so there's definitely that. I simply never have any, you know, problem with grosso humor. I mean, when it comes to South Park, like, this actually was a pretty interesting episode episodes that I've seen. Like, I remember there was this one episode of, you know, um, South Park where I can't really remember what happens, but Eric Cartman, you know, goes on the computer and he goes to this random chat room where there's like a bunch of, you know, strangers talking to him and they're like way older than him. I kind of remember seeing that episode. And I mean, I have to say, you know, Eric Cartman shouldn't be online if he's like underage because most of the time, um, you know that there are stranger people that could sit there and, you know, you know, be all, you know, um, overly, really, really messed up in the head, you know, have a crush on, you know, younger, you know, people younger than them. I mean, it's really messed up. I mean, South Park has done, you know, messed up content in the past. Like, for example, they've done, you know, messed up episodes. Like, I do remember one a uh, South Park episode called The Human Centipede, which is a, basically a parody of the Human Centipede movie. I mean, the Human Centipede movie, the first one, didn't really um, make, gross me out as much as it, it would have done if I didn't say anything or didn't watch it or anything. But I have to say that, you know, even then, it's actually a pretty good concept for, you know, that. Although it is really messed up for, you know in the South Park episode. Another thing I have to say about South Park is South Park has done spoofs of, you know, certain shows. Like, I think they did one... Well, they did one of the Human Centipede back in 2011. Yeah, um, yeah, sometime in 2011. I do remember South Park also did, uh, portray... What, oh yeah, a couple Disney movies. And uh, they did a parody spoof of, you know, the Smurfs at one point. I remember watching... The one um, episode where Wendy kills all the Smurfs. I mean, like, it's really messed up. Like, I mean, basically, it's a uh, satire comedy that they use in, you know, South Park. And I personally don't have a problem with, you know, adult humor in South Park. Like, if they're going to do, you know, adult humor stuff, that's perfectly fine. And, you know, some of the gross out jokes, too, are really messed up. Like, I mean, I'm okay with gross out humor and toilet humor. Like, I simply never had a problem with it. But sometimes when it comes to South Park and the way they do it, they sometimes takes it to an extreme. Like, I remember there was this one episode of, well, uh, South Park. I can't really remember what it was called or something. But they did, um, one South Park episode where they tackled, you know, serious subject matters. Like, I remember there was this one South Park episode where they tackled the pandemic, which we're sadly still in to this day, but I really hope we get out of it um, this year or next year, whatever we, you know, get out of it or something. Uh, they tackled that and they took that subject matter of the pandemic that we're still in today really well. I mean, South Park has does tackle um, real life situations such as the September 2001 incident. I'm not going to say the actual name for it, but... Yeah, they tackled that one pretty good and handle it good. Just as good as Arthur would, you know, do something like that. But yet again, I think I did see, the, you know, a couple of other spoofs that South Park did. I remember, I believe, they did one on Arthur. I could be wrong if they didn't do that one. I think they might have. I don't remember because I don't really watch a whole lot of South Park as much as I did back then. I mean, like, South Park has done, um, you know parodies, like, of certain, um, you know, TV shows, certain movies, or certain, you know, cartoon characters. Like, for example, they did, um, they've done a few, I think, with, you know, certain cartoons that we know, like, some Disney movies and that. I mean, yes, South Park, um, does, you know, use satire. The one other things I have to say is that, 
ha- this one meme that became popular was the one where the people you ever see stuff like, oh my god, they killed Kenny! Like, that's how, you know, a lot of people really would, you know, see as that. I do remember uh, a few South Park episodes where they parodied um, Disney movies, such as I remember uh, Elsa being in, well, an episode of South Park. I do remember Mickey Mouse being in South Park. And, I mean, yeah, like, I mean, South Park has done, like, a lot of parodies, you know, with certain episodes or of, you know, shows or movies like for example they take some disney characters and make them in their own style uh they did that with hannah barbera characters you know and all that i mean they have done you know a lot of things when it comes to south park now the gross out humor that um they did in south park i mean it's oh i don't really have a problem with people if they like uh gross out humor like Some of the gross-out humor jokes are kind of messed up. I mean, South Park does, you know, do some certain jokes that really cross the line. I'm surprised they, you know, get controversy going on, you know, with certain jokes in South Park that, you know, gets really messed up. I mean, yes, I would have to say, you know, South Park really, um, have watched, you know certain things like for example when it came to South Park when it comes to you know certain humor some of the humor gets really out of hand like some of them goes even too far in you know certain episodes like they go you know one step too far and then controversies do happen another thing I have to say about South Park is that yes you could find some clips of the of certain episodes on YouTube But you can't really find the whole episodes of it. You would have to go to, you know, certain websites that stream it or something in order to see it. Like, I've watched a couple of South Park episodes back then. I mean, some of them I have watched were cringy, and I think some of them were funny. Like, I honestly found, you know, some of the characters in there, like Kyle, uh, Eric Cartman, and all that. I mean, it's pretty funny when it comes to that. Like, I mean... That's something I have to say was pretty, pretty messed up when it comes to South Park. I really would have to say right now is that I do remember, um, I do remember seeing memes of South Park and some merchandise and all that. I mean, I've seen that in stores myself and I actually seen, you know, South Park, you know, being advertised on DVD and all that. I mean... Like, come on, like, South Park is a pretty popular show. It's like Family Guy and Simpsons and, you know, American Dad and etc. Like, it's a satire comedy. Like, I mean, um, another humor that I did notice that South Park is using, they have used racist humor in South Park. Like, I mean, I've seen a couple of South Park episodes where they use racist humor Like, um, I simply don't, do not like racist humor. I simply hate the fact that, you know, racist humor is used in South Park. I mean, it's a, it's a satire comedy, so I know they do that quite a lot, but I simply really don't like how, um, South Park, you know, uses, portrays it in a really bad way. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I remember there was this, um, one game show, um, episode of South Park where the n-word was being spelled and i'm like oh come on like i mean when it comes to doing you know certain things like when it comes to certain tv shows i use certain type of humor i mean racist humor is something i do not like i do not like that as i don't really think it's funny i mean yes some of the jokes and all that can be offensive and yes there are some episodes that do have offensive you know portraying offensive stuff But I have to say it's not really that, you know, bad. I mean, yes, I really have to say I don't really care for, you know, some offensive jokes. But I mean, South Park, to put it bluntly, I don't really mind the show. But to an extent, depending on how far it goes, is my opinion. Like, if it's going to be, you know, too much uh, racist humor or anything like that, I will not watch it. If it's going to have, you know, um... Too much NSFW stuff. I'm probably just not going to bother with it, depending on how far it goes. And another thing I have to say, too, is YouTube is actually starting to go after some of these, um, 
Oh yeah. Some of these um South Park videos, like for example, um some of them some of the South Park videos are getting taken down for, you know, either uh sexual content or hate speech. Like so I remember there was a few of South Park episodes that did have, you know, some offensive, you know, words being said about somebody or or something. And I remember trying to go back and to look at one video. I think it had Eric Cartman, you know, cussing nonstop or something. I can't remember. But it did have, you know, some racist humor in it or something. I can't remember who said what. But when I actually look back, I think this video was maybe uploaded 2009 or 10. When I actually went back to take a look at it, YouTube actually removed it. Like, they removed it saying, warning, this has been removed for, well, hate speech. Like, some of the South Park videos are getting taken down not only for sexual content, but some of them are actually getting taken down for hate speech. I mean, it's right of YouTube to sit there and, you know, it was right of them at the time to sit there and do that to, you know, a South Park, you know, to, you know, South, like, that clip of South Park. Like, I mean, they were right to take that down. I mean, you know, with the hate speech and, you know, racist, um humor and slurs and all that. I mean, it was right of YouTube to take it down because that was just messed up to be 100% honest. Like, I mean, if they're gonna have, you know, offensive, you know, sayings and all that, I think that should be fine. Like, but it kind of depends on how they portray it. As long as it doesn't involve, you know, um, actual people getting insulted or anything like that. I mean, yes, it's, it's an older show that came out sometime in, um, 2000, well, 1997, yeah, that's the one that it, they started, you know, making that. I mean, yes, some of the, um, um, episodes of it, which I would say of, well, South Park is very messed up. I mean, yes, like, if you like, the, you know, the kind of humor that South Park uses, that's fine. I don't have anything against you, but I would have to suggest do not use any of this to, you know, harass other people because, yeah, that's one thing I do not like is, you know, if you're saying something from South Park and you say it to the wrong person, and if you're just, even if you're just joking around and not meaning to offend people, some people might take it the wrong way and thinking you're actually harassing them with that. I mean... That's kind of why I don't really care for the South Park, um, you know, show at times. I mean, it's not terrible or anything like that. I mean, the animation for South Park is actually pretty good. Like, it's really well done with the animation. I mean, it's like somebody actually drew the animations. It's pretty, pretty awesome, if you ask me. So, okay. One thing I would have to say when it comes to South Park is... I think I prefer Family Guy and, um, a bit of Simpsons and possibly American Dad over, um, South Park. South Park's fine. I don't have a problem with South Park. I really don't have a problem with, you know, the humor that they use in it. It's just me expressing my opinions on, you know, the show South Park. I, I've been kind of thinking about, you know, expressing my opinions on South Park because some of you guys might have asked me what my thoughts are and... Yeah, I'm just giving up my thoughts there here because, you know, why not? And if you like the South Park humor that they have or the episodes or anything like that, that's fine. Feel free to leave me what your thoughts are on the comments below because I would really like to hear what your thoughts are on it. And if you, um, happen to like, um, this episode, if you happen to like South Park, that's fine. I don't have anything against you in any way, shape, or form. I don't have anything against anybody who likes South Park. Like, if you like this kind of humor South Park did, you know, even if it's offensive, offensive humor and all that, that's fine. I simply never had a problem with that. It's simply, you know, your choice of what you like. Like, I mean, I don't mind South Park. I mean, it's, yeah, some of the episodes are cringy and the jokes there too are sometimes offensive in a way and all that. I mean... I mean, like, I don't have anything against anybody who likes South Park or this kind of humor that they do. Like, I mean, I've actually watched a couple South Park episodes, and I mean, some of them are cringy, and some of them are pretty messed up. Others are pretty funny. Like, I mean, I've seen a few, you know, 
South Park episodes that were pretty messed up, but funny at the same time. So, I guess this one's been, this video's been like, uh, 20 minutes long. I kind of want to, you know, express out my opinions. If I'm missing something in South Park, um, that I might have missed or something, or if it's, if something's not accurate and you want to point that out, feel free to leave me that in the comments below because, you know, I haven't watched South Park in a really long time, so... Yeah, I don't really watch South Park that much. Like, I mean, I've seen a couple episodes of it, but that's just about it. But if you have your opinions on South Park, feel free to leave me now with your thoughts in the comments below, because I would like to hear your opinions. Like, if you like South Park and you like the humor that they portray in there, like NSFW-related um, humor, um, gross-out humor, any kind of humor in general of South Park they portray... Feel free to leave me now with your thoughts in the comments below. I like to hear what your thoughts are on South Park. In my opinion, I'm not really a crazy South Park fan. I have watched a couple episodes, but I really have to say some of the some of the clips I've watched were funny. Like I'm not gonna deny that. Some of them were cringe, others were funny. So there's that. Anyways, uh what did you guys think of South Park? Do you all in do you like the show? Do you not like it? What are your thoughts on South Park? Why don't you comment down in the comments below and let me know what your thoughts are on. And as always, um, before I end it here, I just want to state that I have a feeling that the Barney Bunch, um, Drew Pickles and the Barney Bunch series that started sometime in 2005, I have a feeling that that's how what it was inspired by was South Park. So I thought I would make that clear. I know Space did a mention of that in his video of him talking about the Barney Bunch. I thought I would just make a video me of, of South Park mentioning, you know, some stuff that they did. You could kind of see how similar, you know, how South Park and Barney Bunch basically is. Like, I mean, it's not... Barney. The Barney Bunch is not ripping off um, South Park, obviously. No. It's just inspired by the satire comedy of it. So, just want to make that clear. Anyways, um, yeah, leave me know your thoughts are on South Park in the comments below. If you like the show, that's fine. If you don't like the show, I respect your opinion if you like this show or not. And also, feel free to leave me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm the Queen of Lions. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to when I upload so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, I guess I'll catch you in the next video and roll the outro because I'm out.